Hi, this is Lars with Clearly Coffee, and today we have a reader question. Uh, do I need a gooseneck kettle for my arrow press? And the answer is no, you don't. Uh, in fact, when, when I first bought my arrow press, I just had a regular like electric tea kettle that would boil water and stop. And you know, uh, it made perfectly good coffee with the AeroPress. Now I do have a gooseneck kettle uh, that I use with this Chemex machine, and I also use it now with the AeroPress. And there are a few small advantages if you wanted to use it. Now the actual gooseneck, the reason for a gooseneck is because you can really precisely pour. So with the Chemex, when you're doing the pour over and you're wetting the grounds just perfectly, it's really nice to have a gooseneck. With the AeroPress, all the coffee's just right there and it's easy to wet all the grounds. It's not as complicated. So you don't really need the narrow gooseneck. However, what is handy is that you can set the temperature exactly like you want it with most of these gooseneck kettles. Now this is the Bonavita one liter gooseneck kettle. And right now you can see that the temperature is 198 degrees, but I have it set where it goes to 205 degrees. So if you're really dialing in your AeroPress coffee or your pour over coffee and you want an exact temperature, well, if you have a tea kettle that does an exact temperature, it's okay to use that and you don't need a gooseneck. But if you have an AeroPress and you want exact temperatures, then a gooseneck is a good thing to have uh, because you're gonna be able to say, okay, I want 205 degrees. You put in your stuff, you pour it in your AeroPress and then you're good to go. So my answer is no, you don't have to have a gooseneck kettle, but it's nice to have if you can afford it.